Washington, we brought our whole delegation here to advocate for the arts and arts and education and that arts steamroll the country. And then we're here tonight specifically, we just shot a PSA campaign directed by our president, Tim Daly, where the arts played a role in hopefully helping to prevent military suicide. So we have a PSA campaign about a very serious subject, but we've used the arts to get the message across. Yeah, certainly a, a very serious PSA. And is it very common for, for, for those in the military to, to, do, to do that? It's, it's the, unfortunately, suicide is the biggest killer of, act, of servicemen and women and their spouses. And we are, we're here to, to use the arts to help get the message out to prevent it. What attracted you to the Creative Coalition and why are you here tonight? Uh, I'm here tonight to support military families um, who obviously stressed out in our country and just show our support and show, let them know that they're loved and they're cared about and, and uh, they can seek counsel for, you know, uh, their stresses that, you know, only other military families can relate to and that sort of thing. What attracted me to the Creative Coalition is the arts in general. Um, arts is my life, it's my passion, and uh, Creative Coalition does a great job at, at fighting to keep uh, public arts programs alive and that sort of thing. And do you have any family in the military? No, I actually don't personally. That I know of. No. <laughs> Are you familiar with the Creative Coalition and the PSA that they're presenting today? Yes, uh, I've worked on and off with the Creative Coalition for a few years. And although I'm not part of the PSA that they're presenting tonight, I've heard great things about it. So I'm very excited to see it. We're here tonight also because the Creative Coalition has done a PSA. And they're working with this, uh, with the Blue Star families because a lot of service members coming back have been committing suicide, and it's a real issue. And also spousal suicide has been a big problem. So we can't forget about our soldiers, our soldiers who fall, or our soldiers who survive. Uh, do you have any role in it? It's sort of a, yeah, I, I participated in this uh, PSA, and it's, you know, to raise awareness about, you know, the, the suicide rate with soldiers returning home and, and family members of, of the soldiers and it's just something uh, you know they they started a hotline it's just to let them know that they're not alone and that we're here to support them and that's sort of how I got involved with the creative coalition as well it's important to get that message out and to really explain to the service members how much we appreciate everything that they've done for our nation and this is probably going to be a very difficult adjustment but that we as a nation need to support them from private practice. He's also the president of the Creative Coalition. What do you, what are some of your goals for this organization? Well, our goals are always to raise awareness about the arts in the United States, to help uh, protect and defend and promote the arts uh, through the National Endowment for the Arts and through arts education. Um, and, you know, it's a very tough climate right now because everybody is talking about cutting budgets for everything. But uh, I want to educate our politicians in America about the fact that um, every dollar spent by the government for the National Endowment for the Arts reaps $7 in tax revenue. So it's a great investment. Also, entertainment is the second largest export in this country, another thing that not a lot of politicians even know. So it's one of our goals to get the, the narrative, the dialogue about the arts 
to be uh, uh, raised to a level that it deserves um, and have the same kind of respect and, and gravitas that, you know, talking about General Motors or any other American industry gets. We're approaching in certain areas a 30 to 50 percent dropout rate from high school students. And when, when you introduce the arts as a really active curriculum, uh, two-thirds of those children actually stay in school. So if we're going to create these, this new breed of thinkers, engineers that think outside the box, people that really change the landscape of science in the future, we need to incorporate the arts so that people can really think in a different way and America can maintain its edge. I, I, I think that we just have to keep uh, um, on our message and try to educate the public about you know, what it is that they have. Because the truth is that a lot of people, when you talk about the arts, they think like, oh, like some kind of opera thing or something like that. And that's not what it is. The arts are your kid's school play or singing in the choir or playing guitar in your basement. Those are the things that people do every day of their lives. Um, and they are integral to you know us as Americans. We're a creative, artistic culture, and we should celebrate those things. Yeah. What? How can we, the American public, help you achieve the, some of the goals for the Creative Coalition? Well, you can always um, go to your school board meetings and say, "Where's where are, is the art? How come you've cut the arts out of our, your education program?" You can tweet about it. You can write your congressmen, your senators, and you can understand that. Um, if children get uh, a full um, curriculum in the arts, they're three times more likely to graduate from high school. They do better in math and science. They do better on the SATs. They're more likely to go to college. They make more money. Um, so there's you know, one ele element of it that a lot of people understand, that I certainly understand, which is about how it enriches your soul and it helps you uh, empathize with people and see the world in a different way and moves you and makes you feel wonderful. Yeah, I can definitely see you're very passionate about it. There's another element of it that's just basic economics. If you study arts in school, you will make more money. Arts are, the, are part of the main course. They're on the plate with the meat and potatoes. It's not dessert. It's not a luxury item. It's, it's a, a vital It's part. essential. It's essential. Um, and, and people have to, you know, be, uh, be under, stand up and, and let that be known. Because I think a lot of Americans understand that, but they're kind of uh, hes hesitant to, to talk about it. Thank you. Thank you.